Yo, Jason here with Diamonds Industries. Um, back with a one take tutorial. Uh, I haven't done one in a little while, but I had a request for one. And the request was, how do you get your glue so thin? So let's show you here. Here is the glue pot. Um, I highly do recommend getting one of these Teflon glue pots. Wait for them to go on sale at Tandy Leather or another reseller, they're worth buying. Um, you get one in a lifetime, buy some extra brushes with it, although I've never replaced the brush on this thing. In theory, I could. Um, but anyway, buy one of these. Eh, you can see the glue does stick after a time, but it's really easy to come off. Um, here's how thin I run my glue. Super duper thin. And so people will ask, well, how do you get it that thin? Well, of course, you need thinner. Um, and that can be a little bit difficult to find. Uh, so what you need to do is source a, a glue for your leather. I would recommend calling around to some of the, the, the shoe repair shops and see if they'll give you the number to the wholesaler that sells them their glue. I buy master's glue uh, through a contact that I got at one of the local cobbler shops. I buy a gallon at a time and I buy two gallons of thinner at the same time. It's about $75, but I probably will last, you know, most people years if it's well taken care of. I think I go through a gallon or two a year and I make between 600 and 1,000 sheets a year depending on the year. So, how do you keep it so thin? Well, you use ketchup. That's the trick. Ketchup and you're all set. All right, that's the one take tutorial. No, um, I picked up some of these bottles. Um, just you, know, you can pick up, you don't have to pick ketchup and mustard, but I like that they were color coded and I could keep them separate. But this little ketchup bottle here, I fill with thinner. And then when this needs to be thinned out, I just pick it up, squirt some in there, and then refill it when I need to refill it. So it's super simple. I know it probably seems like common sense, but it took somebody else telling me to do it. So I wanted to do a one take tutorial to let you know. Um, you can find barge glue at Tandy. You can get it by the uh, pint, quart, I think an even gallon. Make sure you can get the, the thinner for that. Uh, barge makes two different types of thinners that I know of, probably more, but the two that I know of for sure are a universal thinner, which would probably work with masters, and they make the barge specific thinner. Use the barge specific thinner for the barge cement, if that's what you're using, or whatever thinner is appropriate to your glue. That's the way you get the best results. So run it real thin. You'll get a lot of better penetration into the fibers, especially on the flesh side. Um, and I find that it just works better. You can make thinner glue lines and they tend to go away more in edging. So uh, this was asked for, so I wanted to reply to it. I really appreciate that you guys are watching out there. I really appreciate the likes and the thumbs up. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comments below and uh, I will for sure make another video to answer any questions that you might have. This is Jason with Diomedes Industries, www.diomedesindustries.com, or you can check out my sheath work at fiddlebackoutpost.com, F-I-D-D-L-E-B-A-C-K outpost.com. That's where all my sheaths, almost all my sheaths, that's where my uh, stuff goes. I make for a lot, almost all the sheaths for the Fiddleback Forge guys, who are great people, and if you want to buy a great knife, try fiddlebackforge.com. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.